What's up, everyone? Welcome. Welcome, everyone. It is, once again, Friday night. It is 7 o'clock. That can only mean one thing. It is time for our weekly one-hour live stream. Good evening again. Uh, what's up, Max, Wolf, Mark, Steve, Karen, Moonzer? How is everyone doing? I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, my week this week was um, it was a, it was a lot better than the week before. Uh, Moonzer, how are you doing? I am doing great, Moonzer. I hope you have had a good week. Uh, how has everyone's week been going? Uh, like I just said, mine was a whole lot better this week than it was uh, last week. So <laughs> we're, I'm real happy about that. I got to do a little uh, camera adjustment here. Uh, not all of ships are showing up on the camera. Uh, I'm doing well, Moonzer. Thank you. So, uh, Wolf, kind of tired. What's wrong, Wolf? You had a uh, you busy day or a busy week? What's what's going on there? Uh, Mark, awesome week. Uh, was worn worn out. Uh, I had a busy week. Um, thankfully, it just it wasn't as stressful of a week this time around as it was week before. Uh, Moonzer, I had an okay week. Uh, Max, it's been pretty good. Well, uh, good. I'm glad to see everyone's at least had an okay or better week. <laughs> so joining us on the shelf this week, we have at the top, Mighty Mo, BB-63, USS Missouri. In the middle shelf here, once again, we are in the presence of a queen. All hail the queen. Uh, and down here, last but not least, we certainly have the subject or focal uh, focus of this week's video on the channel the 1 to 700 Ravel Titanic I mean you guys have seen her for a few uh, for a few streams now but she's done and um, yeah we're gonna start getting things underway here now Steve good to hear your week was better mine was great preparing for our magic time tomorrow that is correct so in case anyone uh, may not know uh, I will be joining uh, Steve's channel tomorrow, the Blue Ribbon Channel, and uh, we will be discussing uh, a number of topics. I believe we are going to be talking a good bit about the Iowa-class ships. That's one of the reasons why uh, Mo is joining us this week. Um, you know, we can take a quick look at Mo right there. And, uh, yeah, uh, Steve, what time are we doing uh, your stream again? Could you, uh, could you let us know here in the chat? Uh, Wolf, I went to sleep at 12 a.m. and woke up at like 4 a.m. and couldn't sleep again until 8 a.m. and then woke up at 1 p.m. So I'm just kind of tired. I, I, I don't blame you on that, Wolf. Wolf, um, are you are you still in high school? I know you're. I I, I don't want to divulge your age, but I mean you are of adult age. But uh, are you still in high school? Let's see, Moons are. 
you should get an SS United States model from the Roller 3D. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's out of, out of the realm of possibilities, Moonser. Um, I've not really looked at that model. Um, I have actually been looking, uh, trying to find uh, the Airfix 1 to 600 Queen Elizabeth. Uh, there was only one I saw on eBay, and it was uh, it was right around 100 bucks. and the kit was opened. It looked like a lot of pieces were broken off the sprues. So I'm, I'm kind of hesitant on buying something like that. Uh, Steve, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight, 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight. So it would be 3 p.m. Uh, my time. And uh, I want to start off this week. Uh, Wolf, I'm doing online school stuff. Okay, gotcha. Um, I want to start off this week, guys, with, uh, with a little ship news. Um, you guys have probably heard this, but we're going to talk about it a little bit because uh, I think it's, it's worth mentioning. And I might start doing that each week, um, maybe finding like ship-related news articles, and we can open up the live stream and kind of discuss those articles and um, you know, get everybody's take on them. And uh, so here's what we're going to start off with. Um, you guys, I, and I posted this in the Discord. Um, this dude, uh, Clive Palmer, uh, he's an Australian billionaire. Um, this is uh, this is from Forbes. It says a mining billionaire and former member of the Australian Parliament has again relaunched his plan to build a replica of the Titanic that is, quote, far far superior than the original and will carry the passengers around the world in style and luxury. Uh, Palmer is the 732nd richest person in the world as of Thursday. Uh, he's had this, uh, he's tried this uh, multiple times in the past where he, he's announced that he is going to build a replica of the ship and it's going to sail, yada, yada, yada. And, eh, Eh. Uh, and as the article even says, he he's he's done this uh, more times than not. Uh, you know, announced that he's going to do this. He 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 stopped doing it, and he he started it up again. Then he stopped again. So you kind of have to take this guy at a grain with a grain of salt, because from what I understand, he had all these other uh, wild projects that he wanted to do. I think he wanted to reinvent Jurassic Park at some point, just to give you an idea. Um, let me catch up with chat here just for a minute. Uh, Wolf says, I did pick up these old mecha model kits from the 80s. Nice. Uh, Moozer, I want to build a model of QE from wood I have here at home. Well, Moozer, if you do that, we would love to see it. Uh, and Moozer, Clive Palmer tries everything in the book. Steve, he is a nutcase. Uh, and Moozer agrees. <laughs> Max, oh God, not him. Uh, well, imagine this guy, instead of trying to remake Titanic, just gave money to the SS United States. Wolf, you win the internet for today. I salute you, sir. That's the most brilliant idea I can think of. Hell, if he's got the money to build a replica of Titanic, he's already got the SS United States in existence. I mean, why not? Let's see. Uh, Steve says uh, he was supposed to have the Chinese build it. Uh, Moonshu, he is basically uh, panning the Olympic class. Uh, I could see him putting the green staircase in his Olympic. Yeah, I, I could see that too, Moonshu. Uh, that would not shock me. Uh, Nathan, what's up, Nathan? I'm in the car waiting uh, in my for my grandpa. I guess waiting on my grandpa. First day of work went well. well I'm glad to hear that, Nathan. That's cool. Now, <laughs> Wolf, yeah, I get the internet for a day. You, you do. You absolutely, you, you won the internet for today, Wolf. I, I just, I love that idea. <laughs> Uh, I got to warn you, won't look good at all. Yeah, no kidding. Well, and one of the things I've read in these, uh, it's kind of the article's kind of listed like some bullet points. Um, he says, uh, 
He would essentially rec recreate the exact ship that sank in 1912, which you can, which would not be legal for it to uh, for that ship to sail in today's world, because um, shipbuilding and laws and code have changed since Titanic's day. So one, for one, you can't build an exact replica of the Titanic because it would not be allowed to sail. Um, let's see, uh, including the famous grand staircase, a smoking room, theater, casino, and dining rooms for passengers of various classes. Well, it's not an exact replica because uh, Titanic did not have a theater or a casino. So you got that. Uh, Wolfie well, proceeds to learn of the SS United States and attempts to turn it into Titanic. Well, let's not do that. <laughs> Can we please not do that? So uh, anyway, um, I'm kind of rambling on here for a minute. I didn't even start the footage because, uh, you know, I wasn't paying attention to that. So let's let's get on with our footage for this week. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little late to that. The moons are, I am going to make a RMS Queen Elizabeth picture book, just pictures. Well, I, when you're finished with that, uh, moons, I would definitely like to see that. Uh, Steve, original Olympic class dimensions won't work in today's world. She would be unstable due to buoyancy and weight distribution from the lack of boilers and original machinery distribution. Very, very uh, solid points there, Steve. And you know, while we're thinking about it now, like we said, uh, Titanic would could not be it would not be legal for that ship to sail in today's world because of the changes in safety features, in gen general shipbuilding, uh, in laws, uh, that, you know, what country is going to allow this ship to register? I mean, unless it's, you know, a third world country that he's going to register this ship under, that'd be the only thing he could really realistically do with it. And, uh, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but by today's standards, you couldn't even build a replica of the Queen Mary and allow her to sail because she is long outdated by today's shipbuilding uh, standards and laws as well. If I am wrong on that, feel free to correct me. Oh, uh, let's see. It was, let's see, Steve uh, Wolf, USS Iowa. Yes, we had to look at an Iowa since we're going to be talking about some Iowas on Steve's channel tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Uh, see, he was going to have build his ship much wider than he than the original yeah of course uh wolf maybe they should just make a land replica of titanic well in a way wolf they kind of have some, something like that if you go to the uh the titanic museums in either pigeon forge tennessee or branson missouri they have uh the exterior of the building is like a replica of the basically like the, the entire bow section, you know, all the way. Let me get the model so I can show you. It's pretty much from the stem to like, uh, I think right forward of the second funnel. I don't remember the second funnel is part of it or not, but at least that much of the ship is like, that's what the building is, the museum. Uh, Moonzer, I'm also writing a book at the moment about the Queen Elizabeth. Well, that's sweet, man. Uh, I, I would like to read that as well when you're done with it. You know, I will, uh, you know, definitely share that with us. Uh, Steve, uh, so, SOLAS, uh, S-O-L-A-S, regulations. Steve, can you elaborate on that a bit? Um, what, what exactly is that? I am not familiar with that. Uh Moonser, Titanic is 100% overrated, in my opinion. Let's see. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't fully agree with that, uh, Moonser, but hey, we, 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 don't, we, don't, uh, we don't knock people for if they don't care for Titanic here. I don't care if you hate Titanic, you know. It, we, we, uh, we don't hold that against anybody here. You are allowed to say that. Let's see. Uh, Steve, safety of life at sea, UN international regulations, uh, no wood. Precisely. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about the, uh, the big U there for a minute. I mean, anyone who's familiar with the SS United States, you know, we all know the story. Uh, William Francis Gibbs was, was the designer. 
he was extremely adamant that his ship be as fireproof as possible and he did not want any wood in his ship whatsoever and by and large he got what he wanted with the exception of the pianos um they uh, i forget who it was that argued with him about it but they wanted wood pianos not aluminum based pan pianos they went so far as to set a piano on fire in front of him and let that thing just burn away to prove to him that if a piano caught on fire on the ship, it would not spread and pose a real danger to the ship. And at that point, he was convinced to allow wood pianos on the ship. And I think maybe other than uh, a couple of butcher's blocks or something or cutting boards, that was the only wood that was on the ship. Uh, see, they were almost going to build a land replica of QM here in Las Vegas. Idea fell through. Um, that would be cool, Steve. But at the same time, I mean, we have we've got, you know, the real queen. So I would honestly I'd rather everyone if. I would rather that not be built since we have the real queen. Let's let's go visit the real queen. Let's put our dollars, our tourism dollars, our hotel money, whatever. Let's spend that on the real queen. That's just my opinion. Uh, Moozer, when I was a bit younger, I had an idea to create an exact replica of the RMS Queen Elizabeth and put the replica in Port Everglades. My plan was to make this ship strong enough to handle the heat that is Florida. Moocher, that brings me to a question. And uh, some of my, you know, our Queen Mary people in here might be able to uh, better to answer this because I've been, I was thinking about this recently. So Queen Elizabeth could not stay in Florida because of the climate there. It's extremely hot. It's extremely humid. This is the case all over the Gulf Coast. However, we have three ships that are museum ships in Galveston. We have one in Louisiana. We have two in Alabama, and there are others in Florida. Does anybody know what's the difference between, like, why... Why wasn't Queen Elizabeth able to endure in the South Florida climate, but these old warships are able to, to endure that climate? If anybody knows the answer to that, uh, I would love to know, because I'm genuinely curious. Oh, uh, Wolf, Titanic is overrated. <laughs> I don't agree, Wolf, but, you know, like I said, we, we don't, nobody is going to be penalized for not liking Titanic here. Uh, Mark, build another Olympic or Britannic. Um, I would definitely be down for either one of those. I kind of lean towards Olympic a little bit, but, you know, I'd be fine with either one. Uh, Steve, that is the International Maritime Standards and Regulations under the UN members. Uh, and again, Steve, butcher blocks and the pianos, that's it. Yeah, we're, we're talking about uh, the SS United States. Uh, Steinway. Okay, it was it was the actual manufacturer of the pianos, correct? That's Steinway. Uh, they proved their point with the fire resistance. Let's see, uh, Wolf. I wouldn't mind a land replica of Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, I'd be cool with that uh, because again, we don't we have the real Queen Mary, so I don't see the point in having a replica of Queen Mary. But I'd be fine with a replica of Queen Elizabeth. Somewhere actually pretty close to me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Moons are maybe a Queen, uh, maybe a Queen Elizabeth land replica in Las Vegas. There, well, there you go. Uh, Mark, T-E-M-U, -T Timu uh, has lots of ship models. Mark, I am not familiar with that, uh, that brand at all. Um, are they like most other companies? Do they just do, uh, do they mainly focus on warships or do they have ocean liners too? Yeah, that's one thing about model building and you guys know this, um, whether you build models or not. We have an oversaturation, in my opinion, of the amount of warships, especially in ratio to ocean liners. Now, maybe the warships sell better. They probably do. That's probably why it's like that. But um, I would like to see some limited runs of some ocean liners come. I mean, imagine having uh, models of 
the upper rotter class, um, an updated version of the United States, the Queen Mary, the Queen Elizabeth, you know, you know, we only ever get up, as far as the ocean liners, we only ever get updated Titanic models. And so you, you never ever run out of Titanic models. Uh, well, if maybe warships are built different, referring to my question about the climate, uh, most of those were built for the Pacific and not the cold Atlantic like QE. Uh, Mark, QE had no AC. Well, neither does the warships, Mark. Um, in fact, uh, true story, um, I went to the Alabama in 2018, and that was the first time I'd been to it since I was a child, and I've been to it five or six more times since 2018. Uh, last year, they finally put air conditioning in the Alabama because uh, it is so brutally hot in Mobile during the summer. People just, you know, I don't know how people can stomach doing, uh, doing the tour because it's that hot. And I know because I went in the middle of July in 2018, and it, believe me, it's brutal. Um, Let's see. Uh, Moonzer, the Queen Elizabeth was not in the best condition while in Florida, even on her last voyage or long before that. So that heat was too much for her. If she would have remained there, uh, she would have sank. Yikes. Uh, I mean, could it have really been really worse than an, uh, the shape of a warship, though? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm. I'm just wondering. Uh, Steve, naval vessels are built to different specs than an ocean liner, different grades of steel, thicker armor plating, etc. Okay, that, fair point, fair point. Uh, Mark, uh, let's see, all ships, it's an app on Google Play or the Apple Store. Okay, gotcha, Mark. Uh, Moozer, there is an HMS Queen Elizabeth. That's pretty cool. Honest, and you know what, guys, I was thinking about this, um, getting another... Uh, model of the queen and doing the the gray ghost I, i've been thinking about that for a while too and uh also um i know milan isn't with us this evening but he shared recently in the discord that uh uh oh crap i forget what uh company it is but one there's a company that's going to be doing uh hmt olympic supposedly later this year I'm definitely getting that. Uh, that's going to go without saying. Uh, Steve, I am sure that, that as a museum ship, they would have vigorous rust abatement team. QE got very little tension while in Florida. That sounds, unfortunately to me, Steve, like people who, ever, who eventually took charge of it, um, uh, I guess, you know, half-assed it, for lack of a better way of putting it. Kind of like how Queen Mary kind of deteriorated over the years because the people that were running the ship or whatever, you know, they, they kind of let it go and wasn't paying attention to its upkeep. I know we, we talked about that uh, when uh, you were on the stream a few weeks ago. Maybe, and I'm only guessing, maybe it's the same situation, uh, you know, that was going on in Florida when the Queen Elizabeth was there. Uh, Wolf, we finally got a RMS Olympic model thanks to Hobby Boss. Um, Wolf, is that the same one that Milan posted uh, in the uh, in the model channel in Discord, uh, the HMT? Uh, Moons or Queen Elizabeth was advertised as a hotel, tourist attraction, museum, and meeting center. Well, yeah, so basically what um, what the Queen Mary currently is. Uh, warships are strong; they can handle more. Uh, Steve, moons is not the heat, it's the humidity and the lack of attention of abatement of rust didn't help Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like basically like she was neglected. I, it's, it, I think that it would have been possible for the Queen Elizabeth to have stay in Florida if she would have had the proper upkeep. Just my opinion. Uh, Wolf HMS Queen Elizabeth is great. She and her sisters were beauties. Yes, they most certainly were. <laughs> uh, Mark, yes, the Grey Ghost. Yes, uh, referring to my comment about building uh, the Grey Ghost, uh, the Queen in the Grey Ghost. Uh, Wolf War Spite, especially referring to HMS Queen Elizabeth's sisters. Uh, Steve, HMS Queen Elizabeth, uh, there's uh, a carrier that was built in 2017. 
There you go. Uh, Wolf Queen Elizabeth was also a super dreadnought battleship that served in both world wars. Steve, one thing I thought about after we did our discussion when you came on the live stream, I wanted you to tell everybody how the Queen Mary got her name because it's a funny story and I completely forgot to... Uh, I know the story, but I was... I wanted you to tell the story and I forgot to uh, to mention it to you. Uh, Wolf is the same HMT Olympic. Yeah, the one that uh, Milan posted in Discord. Uh, St Steve, they, sh they seized the ship through court. Which ship, uh, Steve, which ship was seized uh, through court? I, I think I got lost there for a minute. Oh, Wolf, I know how she got her name. Yeah, we, we all know how the Queen got her name, but it is a funny story, uh, all the same. Um, guys, I was asked a question uh, before the live stream, and I am kind of drawing a blank on something. Maybe you guys can help me out. Um, I was asked, the, uh, Queen Elizabeth was seized through court. Okay, I did not know that. Um, I was asked a question uh, today prior to the live stream. Um, is there another four-funneled ocean liner besides Mauritania? And I cannot think of one. I am drawing a blank. Uh, do you guys know of one? Um, Mauritania 2 was not a four-funneled ship. Um, Bismarck uh, slash Majestic had three funnels. So yeah, I, I've been drawing a blank on that. I can't, I can't think of another four funnel liner that started with the letter M. So am I forgetting one? Uh, let's see, Steve. Canard seized it and placed it for sale two weeks later, selling it to uh, CY Tongue. Uh, Steve, the German liners. Well, I know Kaiser... Kaiser uh, Willem de Gauss was the first four funnel liner. Was there other? Was there another German ship that was four funnel that started with an M? Uh, let's see. Well, if there's a nice model of HMS Queen Elizabeth made by Trumpeter, already have her two sisters, Berman and Warspite, but I kind of want QE. Yeah, you want to complete the class and. Honestly, that's, you guys know, that's been my dream. Uh, that's why I, I've got the 1 to 700 Titanic there. I'm working on Olympic. Uh, I have started on Britannic, guys. I have started it. Um, eventually, I want all four Iowas, but I don't want that model. Um, I want a completely different model. Um, that's a waterline model. Don't like waterline models. You guys know that. I've said that many times. And plus, I just want a more accurate model of the Iowas. I want all four of them. Uh, Steve, there were four, weren't there? I can't remember the names. I'm almost certain there were four of them. Uh, Mark, didn't Hamburg have a four funnel ship? Well, is I think the Hamburg America line uh, was what the uh, the Kaiser ships were built for. I know that was the uh, they owned the three uh, Imperators. Uh, before the war. Let's see. List of four funnel liners. I'm doing a quick Wikipedia search, guys. Uh, there was Kaiser Willem II, Kaiser Willem de Grasse, the SS Crown Prince Willem, and Kron, I'm, I might butcher this, Kron Prinzessin uh, Cecile. I probably butchered that. I'm sorry if I did. Um, welcome back, Moonzer. Uh, well, missing QE class battleships, I need are HMS Valiant, Malaya, and of course QE. I'm going to recommend you get uh, QE first, Wolf, just you know because, <laughs> obviously because of the name. So, guys, I, yeah, I just did a quick wiki. Uh, I went to Wikipedia real quick, and they're listing. I don't know if this list is complete or not, but, yeah, I only see one ship that is a four-funneled liner that starts with the letter M, and that is Mauritania.
And uh, here's another fun fact. Uh, proposed ships, while we're, on that, uh, while we're on this topic, the United States never operated any four-funneled ocean liners in commercial service. However, in the late 1910s, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, William Francis Gibbs began to draft the designs for new 1,000-foot liners that could reach a speed of 30 knots. Uh, among the proposals was a pair of four funnel ships designed in 1919. The funnel and boiler arrangement would have been similar to the German four stackers with the four funnels grouped in pairs with a wider gap between the second and third funnels. Yeah, because that's how the Kaiser ships looked. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 da. In the late 1920s, White Star placed an order to, to the shipbuilder Harlan Wolf for Oceanic which would have been the third ship in White Star's history to bear the name. Uh, the exact intended design of Oceanic 3 is unknown, although company concept renderings show it to be a three-funneled 1,000-foot liner. Uh, however, early plans from Harlan Wolf's archives show a design from 1927 for a four-funneled liner almost identical to the Olympic class, except with a more modern cruiser stern. Let's see. Uh, Wolf, I love the look of the German liners. Which one specifically, Wolf? Um, the Kaiser ships or the Imperators or both? Um, did you have a preference? Oh, and by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we, we have switched ships in the footage. We are now looking at Mighty Mo. BB-63, USS Missouri. Let's see, Steve, Sir, pa Sir Percy Bates wanted to name the ship Queen Victoria. Okay, before I read all of this, uh, we were talking about uh, a second ago about how the Queen Mary got her name. Steve is, Steve is telling the story right here. Sir Percy Bates wanted to name the ship Queen Victoria, keeping with the IA for Canard. And uh, for you, if you're not familiar what he's talking about, Canard back then, all their ships, the last two letters of the names of their ships were IA. Aquitania, Lusitania, Mauritania, so forth and so on. Um, Kennard invited King George V uh, to John Brown to inspect the ship at the yard and asked for his permission uh, to name the ship after England's most gracious queen. He said, by all means, my wife Mary would be delighted. <laughs> so that's how the Queen Mary went from being the Queen Victoria to the Queen Mary. Uh, Moons are Queen Elizabeth had beautiful interiors, some identical to the Queen Mary's, which makes sense because, uh, you know, they were sisters. Let's see, uh, Wolf, all the German ships. Yeah. And of course, um, we all know. Uh, after Titanic sank, Olympic reclaimed the title of world's largest ship, and she held that title for roughly a year or so, until a certain German ship came in 1913 and took that title from Olympic. What was the name of that ship? We've, all, we've mentioned it before in the past. What was the name of that ship? Uh, Moonser, we should make a RMS Queen Elizabeth demo. That would be cool. Uh, Steve, I have been told that White Star Line and Harlan and Wolf changed their minds on the four funnel design when Normandy and Queen Mary plans were underway. Oh, good to know. Yeah, that would make sense. I, I was, for, for, uh, my first thought that popped in my head, well, they would have merged by then, but no, they were not. Because uh, Queen Mary was started before uh, the merger. Uh, Wolf, there. If, fun fact: there was a HMS Queen Mary as well. I would imagine that. Um, they were not sister ships, were they, Wolf? You know, QE and QM, the HMS. I'm going to assume they're not because I never heard, I've never heard this before, and I know I would have heard that from you uh, if that were the case. Uh, Steve, quiz for me. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, here we go. Uh, put my thinking cap on. What was Canard's 
first ship named after a queen? Hmm. Do. What was the first canard ship named after a queen? It's going to be something that ends with I-A, because Queen Mary broke the tradition of that. Uh, a queen whose name ended in I-A. It couldn't have been Victoria, because that was the queen's original name. Hmm... Does it start with an I, Steve? Give me a few minutes. Um, let, let me think on that, Steve. And uh, when I, if I, if I can't figure it out, I'll let you know. Uh, let's see, Wolf, uh, referring to the HMS Queen Mary, she was a battle cruiser and sunk during the Battle of Jutland. Moons are Franconia, Franconia, Lusitania, Mauritania, Aquitania, Carpathia, Saxonia, Ivernia. Britannia, Persia, Laconia, that's just some of the I, AI or IA canard ships. Uh, Steve says HMS Queen Mary was sunk, if he remembers correctly. Uh, Moonser Canard was a was a IA and White Star, of course, was IC. Of course, you know, Britannic, Titanic, Olympic, Georgic, Cedric, Baltic, uh, Majestic, so forth and so on. Yeah, Queen, HMS Queen Mary was not a sister ship to Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, I, that's pretty much what I expected, Wolf, because I know, you know, I know you, and I know you would have told me that uh, had that been the case. So let's see. Uh, Moonser, there's another Queen Mary that has two funnels. Hmm. Okay, so it, it did not start with an A. I asked Steve. I asked Steve if the original uh, queen for Cunard was, uh, if the letter started with an I, and he said, no, it does not. Hmm. Uh, you got me, Steve. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw in the towel on it. I, I don't know. Although, once you say it, I'm going to probably be like, duh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Named after a 13th century queen of England. Oh, God. I, 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 I'm drawing a blank, Steve. I'm going to feel like an idiot after you tell me what it is, but I can't think of it at the moment. Starts with a B. I'm drawing a blank, Steve. I really am. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I should have known that. I knew it. Well, I didn't... I, I knew I was going to feel like an idiot once you told me the answer. Berengaria. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, I should have known that. Anyway, I did not. <laughs> I can't believe I did not remember that. And if you would have, if you would have, if you would have said it was an emperor, I'd have been, I'd have, I'd have named it right off the bat. If you would have said that, because then I could have been like, well, which, which ship did Canard get out of, uh, for, as part of the reparations? That would have clued me in. <laughs> Oh, well. Ask me that again tomorrow. <laughs> hey, uh, which canard ship uh, was the original uh, queen? And, uh, oh, uh, here's a hint. It was one of the Imperators. Then I would have gotten that. Uh, oh, that drives me nuts. So, yeah, got, got, uh, guys, we've been looking at uh, Mighty Mo here. Um, has anybody noticed, um, real quick, did anybody happen to notice what the thumbnail for uh, tonight's stream is on the YouTube channel. Can anybody tell me uh, something about that thumbnail? 
Uh, Moons of Britannia was Canard's first ship? Question, question. <laughs> question mark, question mark. Steve, oh, that does start with an I. You know, <laughs> I, still, I, I wasn't thinking about it that way. Uh, Steve, her former name was N.I. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Wolf. Uh, Wolf knows, I knew Wolf would know what the thumbnail is. Uh, it's all four Iowas. The only time they were together. I will, and I'm not going to elaborate on that. Uh, I am going to save that uh, for Steve's uh, stream tomorrow. I just wanted to see if anybody noticed what the thumbnail was. Yeah, because it, it just, I just remembered, uh, again, we're, we're looking at Mighty Mo uh, wrecking shop here right now. Uh, Moonser, Britannia was Canard's first ship. Does anybody remember, and admittedly, I don't, so this is not a, this is not a pop quiz. I do not remember. What was the name of White Star's very first ship? Uh, I, I admittedly do not know. Uh, Steve says... First Moon's first canard ship named after a queen, not first ship. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to do a quick search here. What was the name of White Star Line's first ship? I feel stupid because I should have known that too. Oceanic. How did I not remember that? Oh, guys, I am... I am off my game tonight. I, I am not. I'm not doing well with my history tonight. <laughs> Mark Oceanic. How did I not remember that? <laughs> so while we have a moment, um, again, just a, a, a quick reminder, guys. Um, once again. I will be on uh, Steve's channel tomorrow for a live chat uh, that will be at 3 o'clock my time. I am in uh, Central uh, U.S. time. And, uh, and we're going to be talking about the Iowas. Um, I forget what else we're going to be talking about, but I know for sure the Iowas. Oh, and look at that shot of Mo right there and that nice camo. Uh, Wolf, rule Britannia. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Steve. They owned sailing vessels before going to steam, if I recall. More than likely, yeah. I, I, I would think both companies did, didn't they? Canard and White Star, uh, I would imagine, had uh, tall ships, for lack of a better word, because steam didn't come around till the, the latter half of that century. See, Moozer, the last White Star Line ship was the MV Georgic. Yes. Uh, Steve, QM updates, QM cosplay, and Iowa's a fun-filled stream, no doubt. Uh, I'm definitely look. I'm looking forward to all three of those topics. Um, Q Queen Mary cosplay. That's interesting. I, I, I'm I'm interested in that. Uh, you guys, uh, for those of you who do not know me very well, I also do photography, and I love doing cosplay. Uh, I don't dress up, but I do photos of uh, of cosplayers. Uh, we mostly do like horror related stuff, um, but I love doing that type of photography. It's it's a true passion of mine. So I'm definitely interested in uh, how a Queen Mary cosplay goes about. So yeah, <clears throat> that'll be fun. Uh, Moser, me and Steve got to do a live stream soon. Uh, uh, Steve, Canard went directly to Steam with Sale. Okay. Uh, Moonzer, something Q Queen Elizabeth related. Steve, um, I have a question for you uh, since you are here. I mean, you. You, I mean, obviously, Queen Mary is your your specific area of expertise. But are you as knowledgeable about Titanic as you are Queen Mary? I'm just curious. Steve uh, says, "Wait till you meet Shiloh. He has terrific uniforms." Uh, that's cool. I can't wait to see that. 
Let's see. Uh, Mark White Star Line also was sail slash steam. Yes. I'm getting caught up looking at uh, Mo again, guys. Sorry. I tend to do that sometimes. Wolf, uh, you, you've been quiet for a minute. I just want you, um, well, I'm going to throw you a little bone here, my friend. Um, you definitely are going to be excited in a few minutes, and I'm not going to tell you why just yet. <laughs> I got a little surprise for you, Wolf. I just remembered. But yeah, uh, um, I'm, I'm curious, Steve, uh, do you know as much about Titanic as you do the Queen Mary? Uh, Mark, I know all about Titanic and very little about QM. Okay, interesting. Uh, Steve, oh no, definitely not. I know more than the average Titaniac, but not as much as the true rivet counters. And that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I, as you guys know, uh, and this is not just, this is any ship. I do not claim to be an expert on any ship. I am not a professional historian, but I... Uh, I certainly know more about Titanic than someone who watched the Cameron movie and thinks that now they know everything there is to know about it. I was just curious because I've been kicking around a certain idea in the back of my head. That's why I ask you the, uh, the question. But yeah, I, and I, I'm the kind of person, and again, this is not just Titanic, this is any show. I, if you want to know how the engines worked, what grade of steel they used uh, in the building of any ship, go watch Mike Brady's channel. That's, that's his area of expertise. I, I am more, I know general information. I know, you know, like what I call fun facts. You know, I can, I can tell you certain people were in certain lifeboats but I can't name every single person that was in every single lifeboat, what time the lifeboat launched, uh, that stuff either. I know some of that stuff, but not all of it. But yeah, the, the engineering behind the ships, go to Mike Brady for that, because that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, let's see, Wolf. What was the ship to be equipped with a Marconi wireless telegraph system and became the first ship in history to issue a CQD distress signal. I am not certain on that, Wolf. I am fairly certain that Titanic was the first to send an SOS. Uh, as far as CQD, uh, I am not certain on that, Wolf. Um, I am going to be... Uh, I'm going to assume, since you're asking me the question, that it's a warship. Uh, that's the best I can give you, Wolf. Tell me if I'm right or wrong on that. Uh, Steve, I wouldn't claim to be a QM expert, but I do know a lot. Well, you, you most certainly know more than I do, Steve. <laughs> uh, Moonser, I sent you something in the server uh, in my Discord uh, in ships. Okay, I, I will check it out after the live stream, Moons. Uh, Steve, or the TH, uh, THG guys. Yes. Um, I'm still going to go to Mike Brady first, but yes, the THG guys, um, they know a thing or two as well. What? Wait, what's this? What are we looking at here? Uh, Wolf says, RMS Republic. Uh, that was the first ship to send a CQD. Okay, I did not know that. Uh, Mark, I have had I have had tons of books on Titanic and Olympic class. I have on a sea of glass, and I have a digital copy, uh, Mark, of uh, the sh uh, the book. It's called Olympic uh, Titanic Sister or Forgotten Sister, something like that. Uh, that is what I will be reading when I am done with on a sea of glass. I have not. I'm probably just over halfway through of uh, on a sea of glass right now. What do we have here, Wolf? Let's see. Uh, the first ship to send out an SOS was the RMS Slavonia. Okay, I did not know that. I, I thought it was Titanic. 
Let's see. Uh, Steve, CQD does not stand for come quickly danger. D stands for distress. CQ is a general is a standard radio general call still used today. Let's see, Wolf. Uh, Repella collided with SS Florida and sunk. And she, uh, she was a White Star liner. Yeah, Republic. Yeah, that that gives it away. Uh, which company had the ship for sure? All right, so uh, we're we're still looking at Mo here. Uh, we've got one more ship we're going to be looking at uh, before we call it a night. Uh, that's true. I started the stream late, or I started the footage late, so we'll be running a little later than usual tonight. Let's see. I see a, a, a lot of uh, uh, stuff go uh, chatter in the Discord. I will be catching up with the Discord after uh, the live stream, but also after the live stream, I have to go pick up uh, my airbrush. I've been getting some work uh, repairs done on it, and um, I'm at a point where uh, in my build of Olympic, where I can't finish it because I haven't painted the funnels yet, and I can't paint the funnels until my airbrush is working, and my airbrush has been down for a couple of weeks now so olympic has mostly been sitting on my uh in my shipyard uh waiting to be done uh steve wow did mo get that paint scheme in real life i am not certain on that uh steve warships does a lot of different uh camos and stuff so I cannot tell you for certain that if, if Mo had that or not, it looks great on her. That's why I picked it. That guys, give me a sec. I am going to show you guys something real quick. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water and I'm going to bring two little things uh, up in front of the camera for you guys to take a look at that I think you will like. Uh, I'll be right back. I thought I would show you guys something real quick that I have never... Uh, shown on stream before uh let's see james do you know about the saxonia class ships saxonia sylvania ivernia corinthia uh no uh moser i am not familiar with those so anyway guys here is the mostly completed olympic I keep this masking tape. Uh, you can see I still haven't pulled masking tape off from the painting, even though the, the painting is complete because um, the bottom of the uh, hole here will get scratched up every time I'm moving it around. And uh, I don't want that to happen. But here she is, the, all, the mostly completed Olympic. Hey, Wolf, what ship are we looking at here, my friend? On the... Uh, uh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can you go to full screen to show? Uh, yes, Steve, I will do that. Uh, Mark, very nice. Very nice. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, let me go up full screen here. Uh, it's Bri, too. What's up, my friend? How are you? Now just keep the light ships and submarines away from her, right? Yes, Wolf, Iron Duke. More on that in a minute. So here, here she is, guys, full screen. Uh, as you can see, like I said, um, I kept the masking tape on the bottom. The painting is done. I kept it on there. That way, when I'm moving it around, I'm not scratching the paint up on the bottom of the hull. That happened a couple of times with Titanic there. So I wanted to make sure I didn't do that again. And here you are. You can see uh, I still need to put the boat deck on. And I can't do that until the funnels are done. So there she is, guys. There's uh, the mostly completed Olympic. And let's go back. Oh, you know what? I went to full screen. I wonder... Uh, I gotta restart the footage here, guys. Just give me one second. 
Brad, did you did you guys know that SSUS is getting evicted? Uh, I know that they were trying to get uh, the shipyard or whatever the, where she's at. They were trying to get her evicted. That's what the court case is all about. I had not heard anything about um, it actually happening. I never heard anything saying that uh, the Conservancy lost the court case and that she was getting evicted for sure. Let's see. Let me find the footage again, guys. Uh, here we go. Let's see. All right. All right, here we go. Iron Duke, just for you, Wolf. Uh, let's see. Uh, Moosey, yes, uh, Brian, nice model of Olympic. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there hasn't been a ruling yet. It's due any time. Yes, that's that's my understanding of it as well. Uh, the ruling will determine her fate pretty much. Yes. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. It does that, you know, she's saved. Uh, Wolf, Iron Duke class battleships were so cool. Wolf, if you recall, we were talking about this the other night, and I mentioned, I remember you specifically saying something to the effect of Iron Duke is pretty far down the list of the British ships, uh, so you couldn't get her. Because I was asking, uh, I asked Wolf if there any ship that he would want to see that um, that he, we had not previously seen in the footage. And there you go. Because he didn't think I would uh, I'd have Iron Duke, and I didn't at the time. So um, I, uh, I, I had enough money to get it, so I did. And now Iron Duke will be joining us uh, in the footage, Wolf. Uh, Moonser, I'm going to Philly soon to pay her a visit, uh, referring to uh, SS United States. Get pictures, Moons. Definitely get pictures. Uh, Bry, so much things are going uh, on right now. SS United States at high risk of getting evicted. USS Texas almost finished with her repairs. And just a few days ago, Clive, Clive Palmer said that he might make Titanic 2 happen again. We discussed that at the very beginning of the uh, of the stream, um, Bry. And I think we, we all agree that you need to take that uh, with a grain of salt. Um, I'm... I'm in a, you know, I'll believe it when I see it mode. Let's see. Uh, Steve, oh, before we all say goodbye, March 21st, USS New Jersey will make her, March 21st, guys, USS New Jersey will make her tow down the Delaware River to the dry dock. It will be covered live on YouTube. I hope I'm, I was able to watch some of, Excuse me. Uh, I was able to watch um, the uh, the Texas, what it was, last week or week before, uh, leave dry dock. I, wa I couldn't watch the whole thing, but I watched some of it. But uh, Texas will not be complete until sometime next year. Uh, that's my understanding of it. Oh, Wolf, I am so happy to see her in the footage now, uh, referring to Iron Duke. I knew you would like that, Wolf. Uh, so, here she is, and we will be seeing more of her in the future. Uh, Wolf, are, they are moving New Jersey to dry dock along with the kid. Yes. Uh, still no word yet on the kid. Uh, believe me, I will let you guys know uh, as soon as I hear something about the kid as well. Um, as soon as the river's high enough for them to float her, she's going. Uh, Brian, I can't wait to see New Jersey. She is such a beauty. Oh, all, yes, she is. All of the Iowas are, are beauties. Iowas, the Iowa battleships are at my absolute favorite class of battleships, bar none.
I, I've always loved the Iowas. Uh, Wolf, a lot of museum ships are going to dry dock. Yes. And I will be, at least my plan is right now, guys, my plan is to be at the kid when they remove her uh, from her birthing area and start towing her down the Mississippi. I'm sure they'll probably live stream it. I might live stream it too. Never know. Uh, well, I can't say much about the other ships in the r and class and their history. Well, you got the lead ship of her class, and uh, now you can finally see her on stream. Uh, see, now someday I hope to say that news about the QM is going to dry dock, hopefully during my lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine uh, that would be a cool experience to see, uh, to do a dry dock tour of the Queen. Uh, Wolf, he only knows about Iron Duke and would like to study HMS Emperor of India's history. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about, I, I, very, I know very, as you guys know, I, I don't know much about non-American warships. I mean, I know Bismarck and Tirpitz, uh, Yamato, uh, Hood, and uh, I'm kind of learning a little bit about Iron Duke here because Wolf's fascination with the Iron Duke. Um, I remember uh, the the ship with the uh, what it was the ship with the most turrets ever was Agincourt Agincourt. Uh, let's see, Brian. I want to share something directly to the stream. How do I do it? The link. Uh, it. I don't have uh, links uh, set up in the uh, in the chat, um, Brian. If you want, put it in the Discord, and we can check it out there, um, either in mine or in Moonzer's, uh, and we can look at it there. Let's see what time we got here. So I'm gonna let this uh, this particular uh, battle play out, guys. And uh, once this round that we're looking at is over, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, we're past the one hour mark. And uh, I really do have to get going soon because, like I was saying earlier, I've got to go pick up uh, my airbrush. It's ready. That way I can work on Olympic this weekend. Let's see. Oh, and one more thing, guys. Before uh, Another thing before we wrap it up. Uh, another thing to show you guys is this right here. This is another 1-700 to 700 Titanic. However, this is going to be Britannic, and it's officially under construction now. Uh, you probably may not be able to see this too well in the stream, but Britannic, her A deck aft, this area right here, and B deck were extended further back than what Titanic and Olympics are, and I already did this extra extension right here on Britannic. So uh, let me grab Titanic so uh, I, can ex I can see this. Let's see, yes, uh, Agincourt was the sole ship to carry seven turrets. So if you look at uh, Titanic's B deck uh, right here, you notice, let me go to full screen so you guys can see this. Uh, so if you notice right here, there's like three large windows and then two smaller windows here. So that's Titanic. Now, Britannic had, again, it was extended further back. Britannic had just straight up five large windows. And you can see those right here. So that extension's done. A deck extends further back as well. I've not started on that yet. So I need to do that. And uh, yeah, Britannic is officially under construction. So um, let's see, uh, Bri, how are you gonna add the lifeboat Davits on Britannic? Um, so there's a company, Bri, called, uh, I believe it's Shapeways, and they make 
uh, several different 3D prints of certain sections of Britannic uh, that you can't find in a model kit. The gantry davits are part of that. Now you got to buy all the pieces separately, but uh, they are available and I've already ordered them. I already have them. So um, yeah, I will have the gantry davits on my, uh, on my model of Britannic, along with some other modifications that Britannic had that Olympic and Titanic did not have. Uh, Wolf, fun fact, during the Battle of Jutland, every time Agincourt uh, fired nearby ships, thought she exploded because of the amount of smoke and noise they made. Her turrets were also named after every day of the week. So that kind of reminds me of the showboat, Wolf, um, North Carolina, BB-55. If uh, And I've told this story before. Um, I forget what battle it was that the North Carolina was in, but she threw up a barrage of anti-aircraft fire in a battle that was so immense, it basically engulfed the entire ship in smoke. And a captain from uh, one of the other ships contacted, oh, look at that, a citadel and a sank. Uh, one of the captains from uh, one of the other ships contacted the North Carolina and asked it, are you a fire? Because that's how intense this anti-aircraft fire was. So yeah, that's uh, my probably the best story about the North Carolina that I can think of. Uh, Wolf, Agincourt was also originally built for Brazilian use, but they couldn't pay, and the Ottoman Empire purchased it until World War I, where before she was given to them, the British took over. There you go. All right, guys, so uh, it, it's 10 after 8 here. Um, I think it is time for us to go ahead and uh, wrap it up. Uh, I'll close this out the same way I always do. Um, our content... Our content schedule is as follows. Um, video shorts, which are random. They are every day, Monday through Friday, Central U.S. time at 11 a.m. Our video of the week is every Friday at 7 a.m. Uh, this week's video was part one of building of the Ravel Titanic there. Part two will be next Friday. And every Friday evening, uh, our weekly one-hour live stream, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, U.S. Central time. Uh, another reminder, I will be on Steve's channel tomorrow for a live stream, the Blue Ribbon channel. Uh, that is 3 o'clock my time, again, U.S. Central Time. Uh, Wolf, I believe USS Enterprise contacted USS North Carolina about that. Yeah, you might be correct on that, Wolf. I have to look it up again and see. Uh, Steve, I wonder what it was like to be out there on deck with all that raining flak from the sky. <laughs> Uh, Wolf, I know a lot about warships. I know, Wolf. That's why uh, when I have a warship question, you are always my guy. I can go straight to you. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week. Um, thanks again, everyone, for uh, for coming and hanging out. I hope you guys had a good time. I had a great time, uh, as always, hanging out with you guys. Um, again, uh Thanks for watching as always. Hope you guys will uh, come hang out with me and Steve tomorrow on his channel. And yeah, that wraps it up, guys. Thanks again. And until the next time, you know the drill. Drive safely.